Hi, Rich Spazano here with Digitally Feelers. This is a very beginner's tutorial and it's a basic tutorial, but I thought it would be nice for like sometimes you have a family and you have kids and you want to get them involved. Uh, they may want to do a thank you card for somebody or in this case what we're going to do is put a Thanksgiving card. And if you can get the kids involved, I think this is a great project where you can work together. So let's get started. So I'm going to open up a new file, a new document. I'm going to say new. And in the U.S., I'm, I'm putting a print document and it's a letter, which is eight and a half by 11. And I'll say OK. Now, many of us don't have printers that print on both sides. And you can put it in one way and then another way. But if you really want to just print on one side, you can easily make a card this way. And it's perfect for kids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Pixabay and I'm going to type uh, turkey because we're doing a Thanksgiving card and I'm going to say maybe vector graphics and here's one that I like so I'm going to right click and say copy image and then I'm bringing it in here and then I'm going to paste so there's a turkey right there and also maybe you're not, I know I live with a vegetarian, so some of us have turkey and some don't. So for those vegetarians, let's just do, I don't know, vegetarian, see if that works. And I'm going to once again, maybe I'll do vector again. And there's some vector. You know what? I'm going to put, how about this, vegetarian bowl because we want a meal or something. That's much better. So I'm going to pick, take this one, I'm going to right click and say copy image and then paste here and then I'm going back and let's see, pick one more. Um, yeah, this one looks good. Click that, right click, copy image and back to affinity and paste. So there we are, we're good. So let's get rid of the vegetarian for now because the traditional will do turkey. Now when you print on a printer, you have to remember there are borders. So it's very important that you have the borders there. And what we're going to also do is fold this in fours. So what I'll do now is I'll say view and I'm going to say guides manager and open up the guides manager. And the guides manager, what you can do is put your guides here. Now you can manually do it like the half a page is not if I have to split this in four, this is the easy part. So uh, right there, it's showing me the center because I have snapping turned on. And I can do that here too until it snaps into place, which is right there. So now I have it in fours. But we also have to remember that many printers have can't print to the edges. This is important in centering your graphics. So I'm not 100% sure but I think my printer is like 0.3 all around, so it's close enough. So what I'm going to do here is do my margins, and I'm going to do 0.3 and 0.3 and 0.3 and 0.3 again, okay? So now I can close this. So this is my setup. So what that means is if I want to use this turkey here, Without that margin, I might have just decided to go like from here to here, and that won't work because it will be cut off. And if I decided maybe I'm doing it this way and I'm thinking it's the center of this square, that's wrong too because this won't print. So I really want to be in the center of this thing, but now there's still another problem. If I move off of here, I should be moving off the same on this side of the paper so that it looks centered when I fold it. And I could do the whole math, but I'm lazy. So what I'm going to do, and it's pretty bad, is I'm just going to make a, a shape, a rectangle shape. And I'll move that shape right here because I know this is the same thickness as that. And I'll just drag a line out to it. And it'll snap into place. And then I'll move this shape here. And it'll snap into place. And then I'll delete that. So now I'm all set up. So what I want to be side to side, I want to be the center between this line and this line, not from the center of the graphic. So really, if I really want to go as large as I can, that's centered and that's the most it's going to be. 
and I might just take it down a little just to be on the safe side because I really am not 100% sure of where my printer is. Um, I should look it up. So let's do that. And then, of course, we're going to do Happy Thanksgiving. In this case, it could be uh, Happy Birthday. Thank you. Happy. I'm going to just type it all out. All right. And... And Thanksgiving, I would say you'd want it to be in the brownish family or the orangey family. So something like that is not bad. I'd say like that. And maybe you want to give it a little curve. And in my last tutorial, I showed you how you can do some interesting things. So I'll do filter. Actually, I'm going to duplicate it because I don't know if it's going to work when I do the vegetarian version. So let's just keep that. I'm going to do filter, distort, and shear. And in shear, like I showed you in the last tutorial, this represents this. So I could have gone up. I could go down. I can go curved like that. I can move this in any way I want. And I don't like either one of these, to be honest with you, but... That's what I'm going to do, just like that. And let's say it's just like that. It's not very pretty, but I'm just, I can add another one, by the way. So I can add a little curve here and make that go that way and bring this down. And that's it. I'm going to just say apply. So there's my happy Thanksgiving. So that's my front. And if I wanted to change that graphic, I can take this away if it's for the vegetarian. I might want to, oops, I might want to take this and I could do kind of like that. I just need to keep everything within this square right here and I should be okay. But I'm going to go back to the traditional, which is the turkey for now. So that's the front. So now what we're going to do is document, rotate. It doesn't matter clockwise, counterclockwise, because we got to do it twice. And I don't feel like doing all these keyboard shortcuts. I should create a new one, but I'm just going to hit it twice. So I'm doing that and then document, rotate clockwise again, and we're upside down. So now the inside is going to be this section right here. And when you fold it, you'll see what I mean afterwards. So this is the inside. And now I'm going to get some text. It should be black. No, I guess I have to do that way. Black. And I'm going to say... I don't know, to grandma. This is like your kids writing to grandma. And maybe there you might want a script of some kind. How about that one? To grandma. And it says, and I'll duplicate that. And then we can just do, actually I won't. Actually I'll just, instead of the autistic text, I'll take the frame text and go like that and say, and then start typing happy thanksgiving i love you you so much thank you for being <laughs> my grandma i don't know and so now, it's, since it's in a text box, we can change that text box and we can give it a script of some sort. So let's say we'll use that and we can change the size of that script to fit where we think it would fit. And then in the end, we can duplicate that, control the command J and I'll put it here and I will write love Mary I don't know and so now we have a card all ready to go okay so now I'm gonna print it I'm going to go file print and I think the printer would be the Canon Pro Series 3 I'm going to leave it at a hundred percent my paper quality and media I'm just using I'm not using photo paper I'm using plain paper so this is just my printer settings. Yours can be whatever they want it to be. And I'm going to hit print. 
So I took some photos with my phone, not very good photos, but this is how the printout came out on paper. Now you can use white paper or a tannish color or even yellow. As long as it's a light color, it would look pretty good. So this is the first picture I, sh I took. And then when I folded it, I folded it in half down. So that's the front. And let's see if I could see the inside. And that's the inside. So here... You can see what happened here. I folded it in half down. So, and then if I flip it over, that's what the inside looks like. And then the next thing I did was I folded it in half again across. And that's what the card looks like when you open it up on the inside. And that's what it looks like from the outside. So it's very basic. I, I agree. It's very basic. But I think it would be a fun thing for children. It's nice to teach them things like maybe a thank you card or a, a happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, just anything to get them involved. You can also on the inside, if you really wanted to, if you had a nice picture of them, you can place that in there. And this is to grandma, for example. And maybe you had a picture of Mary with grandma. So it's kind of nice. And all you would have to do there is on the inside here, just bring in the picture. In fact, we can do, I don't know, let's say grandma. I don't know if we even have that in stock photos, but we can try and say this is a picture of grandma. And so we can bring grandma in here and let's bring it out. And you get the idea. Um, I really suggest because this is beginner's thing, not to use backgrounds on these. You really want to keep white so that when you do this, because um, otherwise if you go out like that or all around, you, you're still going to have white here where the printer does not print. So I would suggest something like that. You can put grandma in a circle. You could do a clipping mask. I don't know. Let's say you wanted to, um, let's put, well, let's let's give her a circle. So let's just say right here we did a circle like that. And then grandma is here. Whoops, I can't. There we go. And here we have grandma. And if you put grandma over to the right, she's in a circle here. So you could just say to grandma and make sure the lettering's on top, of course. And you could do it any way you want. You know, you got the idea. So I can make grandma bigger and keep her in the full circle like that and then move her around and you can do um, vignette you can do fading on the edges anything you like so again this is a very quick tutorial it is more of a beginner's tutorial and I kind of put it in my craft section because I think it's fun to teach children when they're young uh, that they can do things and nowadays kids can really work on computers probably better than most adults so this is a good way to get them started. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye.